Okay. Can you see my slide? Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, uh, let's start then. Hey, all. Uh, a very good evening to all of you. And on behalf of key to dl I would like to welcome you all to a very exciting session. Please be aware that uh, this session is being recorded. So your voice might be appear somewhere uh, in YouTube video. So uh, this session is extremely important for those who are in advanced stage of uh, driving or driving lessons or who are going to appear uh, for theory soon or uh, practical soon. So let me tell you a little bit about how the session uh, will be structured. So we have a presentation. We'll go through uh, the presentation first. And then uh, the presentation will include uh, all types of illustration and some of the uh, videos. Uh, it will be easy for you to understand. And then we have a discussion session uh, later on. But uh, so I would urge all of you to mute the uh, mic, but it is not uh, absolutely necessary when you need something to ask. So please uh, ask. So there is no um, kind of uh, limitation to ask anywhere, but uh, some of uh, some of you, I think, <laughs> message me that uh, uh, it is better to ask in the later stage. So keep your question. Maybe your question will get clear after some time. Okay, uh, before going to the this topic, we would have a little disclaimer. Uh, this we always have this uh, all the videos. Uh, uh, this one, uh, so all this uh, information is for general purpose only, and anything, any material you consume, it is by your responsibility. So uh, nobody else can be responsible for that. So so do your due diligence. Uh, do your um, yeah search and then yeah, do or act accordingly. Okay, let's go to the today's agenda. The first step is uh, introduction. Uh, generally, we have this introduction uh, just to know that uh, who is in what stage, but it is up to you that if you want to say or uh, we just continue. And then the presentation, it will come with the, some videos and then doubt clearing and also the next steps. So. Uh, probably next seminar or next webinar. Okay, so coming to the this interesting topic, roundabout, and why this roundabout is so important? Let me tell you a few reasons. Uh, like first one is when you appear for a final driving test, you will have definitely 10 to 12 uh, roundabouts you will encounter. And trust me, each and every examiner will uh, watch so closely, like how you behave in a roundabout. So if you, how you handle in, in different roundabouts. So it will, be, it will be must. You should know the rules, you should know the regulations, and you should know how to enter, how to exit. It's, it's, it's an extremely important part of the driving test. Not only driving test, but also for you to like when you drive in a roundabout, like it is a kind of confusion. Always you have think uh, so many cars are coming with different speeds, and yeah, you you know that what I mean. This uh, you can go to any roundabout and you see in the seven o'clock or seven thirty in the rush hour, and lot of confusion. So it is better to uh, clear what is in like clear from the conceptually, then you can act easily. So execution is the second part, but one has to clear from, uh, clear what is the rules and how one should act. Okay. Uh, so this is the one, uh, uh, one of the most important traffic safety or road safety in 1997, the Swedish parliament adopted a new and long-term strategy. And that's why they, uh, that is called the zero vision. That means no one should uh, kill or seriously injured by any traffic accident. And 
what they find out, I think this is the where when people enter to the city or exit from the city, and that is where there is the most of the accident uh, were happening. And that's why most of the junction, like they are, they started and gradually all the, almost all the junctions, they make it into roundabout. And let's see, if you see this upper part of the picture, this is a junction, normal four-way junction. And then if it is in the, it is, this picture is taken uh, in 40 speed, uh, the road which is uh, joining at the 40 speed. But if you imagine if it is a 60 speed or uh, more than 60, and then this type of junction is there and then sometimes traffic uh, signals are not working and then there is a chance of uh, uh, accidents could happen. But lower picture is a roundabout. So we'll come to later what is uh, more with roundabout. So let's go to the little bit different types of roundabout. One is simple roundabout, relatively complex uh, or complex or very complex. This is just my classification. You don't Google it. That it, it is just to explain you a bit more uh, in a simpler way. And if we go to the, uh, okay, this one is, this is a roundabout, but where do you find this? Uh, Sorry, this is a, the roundabout symbol. One is in green and one is in, uh, in yellow. So. Blue, blue. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this blue and then uh, the yellow one. What is the difference? Anyone can uh, unmute and tell or. Yeah. The, the blue one is, is the Pobutes mark. I mean, that it, it informs you that this is the actual roundabout. The one in the yellow with the red uh, uh, warning triangle is uh, to alert you that you have an upcoming uh, roundabout. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and this is the one, blue one means it is the immediately you have the roundabout is there. Uh, whenever you see the blue sign, uh, then it is the it is there itself. The roundabout is uh, uh, on the front, and the yellow one, other one. This is the warning. Uh, I like to add something. Uh, the yellow one is when is uh, vision is obstruct. Yes, that is a kind of warning. So anywhere, yes. like uh, if it is a yellow one, then vision is obstruct, or there is a speed. You know, it is be higher speed limit, and then you have. Uh, few meters uh, are there, so that, that that means there is a roundabout is coming. So there is warning for the roundabout, and it depends on the where it is located. It is located like depending on the speed and also as you said the obstruction of the vision. So if it is like seventy speed, then it must be a little bit far, and if it is like thirty speed, then it is it 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 kind of it is in uh, same place as the blue sign. So. Yeah, that is the only difference. Maybe it, it, there is a theory question for this. <laughs> okay, uh, if you see this one uh, is a roundabout, but it looks uh, very complex, but it is the simple, simplest one, like uh, kind of one lane or uh, maybe two lane and then three exit. So if you go to the this one, this is what uh, relatively complex you could, you might see in this one uh, when you go for the shopping complex or just you go to the exit to the uh, motorways. But still it is not so much complex. If you come to the next one, this is the complex one, in my opinion, because there are, and this type of roundabout you find generally when you go like enter to the motorways, or exit motorways. This is the in in the in the junction of this uh, from the city to uh, highways or motorways. Okay, we, we have a three we, we have a three lane uh, roundabout in in Lin Shopping. Yeah, that is that is another uh, another confusing uh, levels. I think someone has also asked me like they have. Uh, not three, but they have uh, more than six uh, exit at the roundabout. Yes, uh, the one in Linchoping, I think we have seven there. Okay, <laughs> I would like to see a yeah, picture it's, it's of very that. Intricate. 
But yeah, but it's also actually very well uh, constructed. But uh, for a beginner, it's quite very much uh, it it it's scary. Yeah, yeah. But do the examiner they take from uh, to that side if you have almost hundred percent of the time? Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> So okay, uh, this is uh, not in uh, Uppsala. It is not um, not six lane, but I I have all seen only uh, five uh, five exit one. Okay, uh, then let's talk about some uh, roundabout rules. This is uh, actually simple. Uh, no, uh, may, not very complicated rules, and. One must circulate uh, anti-clockwise, and this is one-way traffic. So anti-clockwise means uh, left to right, always left to right. Left to right is the priority, and one way and left to right. So that is the primary rules. Uh, secondary rules is it must give away to vehicles that are already in the roundabout. so those who are already in inside the roundabout they get the priority so otherwise when you go when you are trying to enter you add up your speed and save to other road users so sometime it is pedestrian sometime it is uh, other vehicles so that is that is the one but once you enter you you have to like you get a little bit more priority than others so you have to exit or <laughs> okay let me just uh, divide this uh, roundabout into uh, three different parts so that first one is entry second one how is uh, how you do inside a roundabout first one you just enter then second one how you uh, behave or what is the rules inside the roundabout and third one is exit so if you look at each one for example entry so there is no special requirement but one thing is there uh, if i ask you uh, is it always necessary to indicate or not necessary uh, it's always indicate, necessary to yeah. indicate when you exit yeah. from roundabout yeah but when we enter through the round roundabout uh, no not necessary uh, not so not necessary yeah no, not a must okay okay uh, not a must uh, that's true uh, so it is always good if you are uh, going uh, to a fast exit then it is good to indicate uh, so that the other road users uh, they know that you are going to the fast exit otherwise uh, not necessary but when you go to the third and fourth exit it is good to indicate their uh, left indicator and then enter to the inside lane and while you are driving inside lane it is always good to indicate like before exiting you indicate throughout continuously before indicate uh, before exiting you indicate the change the indicators and then exit can you show in the picture third and the fourth exit uh... yeah it, it it will come it will come so uh, what happen inside around about let's say it is the you have to see the road sign or lane sign sometime then also inside the roundabout you know that it the, there is no uh, kind of you don't see any speed limit there inside the roundabout at least i have not seen any speed limit but you behave according to the other uh, other road, other uh, vehicles so if it is like there is a queue you cannot go or you cannot then you have to add up your speed there is no way to you exit there you slow your speed then changing of lane this is one of the really really important factors uh, like in the any driving test or any any exam i think so how you change the lane inside the uh, roundabout because this is the circular way and you cannot see when you, you, you if you you know that if you are driving in the roundabout and then you see the uh, you changing the lanes it is not the same as in the normal road because you cannot see because you see a curve curvature picture so it is always uh, good to see both uh, like uh, the rear mirrors and the right side mirror uh, both at the same time and the blind spot uh, must so 
recently i think somebody has failed because of in the roundabout he did not see the blind spot so that is the main reason of course this is all the uh, kind of 30 minutes it is all a composite like uh, they say it is not the, this is the one of the major reason but blind spot in the roundabout was the major reason for him to get failed okay this is the exiting uh, part and then i have another question here exiting from a right hand lane or a left hand lane if you go to the third exit or fourth exit there is a, you have a choice like two lanes so which one is good and which one is uh, or it is both are okay or not okay which is third exit uh, i can't get this third exit from this if you if you if you see this one third exit the, is in the left first one you are entering uh, the first one then no first can one you sorry mark with the pointer yeah i mean you, okay. you, you use can you see this one uh, can you see the arrow uh, the yeah mouse this one is the one where you enter okay yeah. Uh, good thanks this one is the second one no 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 oh, this no is first this is one. wrong this is wrong no, yes. no. Uh, yeah you are no, entering from first yeah, this right. one first this one second and this one the third yeah and fourth one is the one which you are entering yeah fourth one is usually used for u turns yeah. yes so yeah, you, exactly. you could have more uh, exits also sometimes you might have Uh, or in in some cases i mean it it differs from uh, roundabout to roundabout sometimes you don't actually have a second one at all you have a first and then you have uh, the position of the third uh, exit and the fourth exit so it it could be very different um, yeah, yeah 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 i understand this, this is the a little bit yes yeah sometime it is a, like in the practical sense if you see sometime if the first exit is uh, blocked somehow mm -hmm. or it is the construction is going on then it is not counted as the first one yeah. so that is completely you just ignore that one so so mm -hmm. the first one will be the, the second one that they hear and then the third one and it it continue like that suppose But, uh, my car coming uh, from near the four uh, the right side of the black mark uh that is my car for example then i'm exiting uh first and second third how i come to the fourth here where you marked fourth and uh, this for you turn like this sorry multiple answers i can't get this uh, i think fourth is for the u turn when you come try to come back to the same opposite yes, exactly. side yeah. okay So yeah, what was I, your I think the point is where the lane change or where that uh, yeah the, that line has not been drawn uh, but you can kind of imagine so in this case for the third exit you have that black line uh, that is changing lanes at 2 uh, if you have if you want to go to 4 uh, instead of changing lanes at 2 you will actually be doing that same thing at 3 if you want to exit at 4 Yes, yes. Uh, that is the that is the only change. Uh, if you come to the U turn, that uh, you change the lane. Uh, okay, let's go to the different uh, other picture. I think that will be more clear. Uh, just 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 a question. If if uh, someone wants to make a U turn, which which lane should uh, he take? Inside or outside? I think could be should be inside. Could be inside. Yes, but we before you exit, you need to move to the right lane and exit. Sorry, like, I didn't get it. okay. Let's take we take the inside one. Like mm -hmm. two, see when someone is getting at exit three, he is changing lane at two. So if you are exiting at four, you need to change your lane at three to the right lane. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I got it. Yes, so, I, I think my driver instructor also told like that. Yes. Yeah. So this Good is answer. the this is the it is better to if you go to the third or fourth exit then it is it is good to take inside lane and then go here and then uh, come here. This is the fourth exit here. You change the lane here. This. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry. sorry. Like this third exit, you changing the lane here. And you put the exit, exit uh, uh, indicator uh, just while changing after changing the lane, I yeah. guess. 
but it is i think legally it is you can do it from the inside lane uh, to like when you exit like you can come here in this place and you can go also in this left lane so but it is really little bit uh, difficult for the uh, beginners and also for the uh, other road users so, what i heard that uh, they, you should uh, actually understand or plan that uh, which road you are going to connect in because maybe these two lanes are going into different directions so you need to know in which direction you are going to travel and based on that you need to choose if you are going to exit on the left yes, lane yes, or that uh, no I, i i understand that one that uh, it is good to like uh, you mean the double roundabout is there you can go to the different uh, lane and, and the another one but it is more dangerous or more uh, not safe for inside uh, changing the like go to the left lane then if you go outside and then change back to the suppose there is another roundabout coming and you want to go to the left lane again so it is okay to go to the like here uh, right uh, inside lane then change your uh, lane it is after second and then go there little bit far and then change back to the left lane again to enter into the other roundabout Oh, instead okay. of doing here uh, going uh, inside to the left lane and then go directly to the other roundabout okay yeah thanks uh, narin can i add something i just actually with, with the previous slide uh, if oh. i understood clearly that uh, it's only this thing that if you are going to first exit or second exit we just choose the right lane and if you are going to third or fourth we should go inside the lane like the choosing the second lane in the roundabout and then always take the right side to exit right yeah you, you 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 can exit in the always right side but there are two mm -hmm. lanes right yes. uh, right side there are two lanes you can go to the left lane or you can go to the right lane so that is the mm -hmm. main uh, difference if you are planning to go to the right lane you must mm -hmm. change the lane in uh, just at this place like for example it is here it just after uh, second exit so this is the place mm -hmm. where you should change the lane and this mm -hmm. without changing lane you cannot uh, exit uh, here okay yeah i know i, I know that but uh, mm -hmm. usually what i do like uh, if i'm going on the like third exit then i uh, go inside the lane and i choose the second lane in the like for the exiting yeah that's what what happened is in general uh, like it is not common uh, to mm -hmm. go to the inside through the inside lane so mm -hmm. if it, if you are let's say you are going uh, choosing this one and you come here 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 and then you go from in this place you exit here right Yeah, usually I take this one. Yeah, yeah. If, if, But if you do that, I mean, there is a, a very serious chance of now. Suppose someone entered the roundabout, uh, really? say at uh, the twelve o'clock position, that is exactly on top. Yeah, exactly. The this person is has second, entered uh, there. Yeah. yeah. And if that person wants to go straight, yes, so he will be taking the outer lane, and suddenly yeah. you will cut him off. So yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's very dangerous. Yes, uh, that's so you, true. So you you have to. It is then your responsibility to be. doubly careful about watching the uh, blind yeah. spot and if uh, so if, if you actually see somebody uh, coming on the outside you should then do another circle so i mean you know you can't simply cut him off so yeah that is that is, is my that is actually idea. you said <laughs> so the best way is to like go in uh, right lane while exiting yeah, yeah this is this is the exactly mm -hmm. the danger is here from if somebody is coming from here and then you change it lane immediately here suddenly yeah. and then this person will come and hit you right yeah, he, and he that has nowhere mistake. to go yeah uh yeah. narendra uh, sorry to interrupt you i have one question so if i understand correctly so we need to indicate first or we need to move the vehicle to outer lane inner to outer which one we need to do indicate definitely indicate first indicate first but at the right time uh, at the right time and right place yeah. so indication is the is same at the because it is the roundabout is always moving uh, all the vehicles are moving continuously right mm. so the, you have to be really uh, exiting time you must indicate and and uh, when when you change lane so before you even change the lane the first thing the sequence is you first check the blind spot if if the blind spot check tells you that there is a vehicle there you should neither indicate yes. nor change lane correct so if, if after you change the, after you check the blind spot then you see that it's all okay then you indicate and don't uh, change immediately after the indicate you you have to give like a second or second and a half 
So the, this means that you have to plan everything in a sequence. So first check the blind spot, indicate, give time for people to see that indication change, and then change the lane. Yeah. So when you <laughs> when you indicate, you know there is a good tip here. If you indicate here, or then then you will see this this vehicle from here. How the behavior of this vehicle in the twelve o'clock uh, lane? So he is stopping or not stopping? This is one. And then another one is behind the vehicle, like behind. And this is if somebody is coming behind. So these two things. If it is he's stopping, then you can go there. If he is not stopping, then also you have to adapt your speed again. So that means that uh, you are, if you are entering left lane, inner lane means you have the whole responsibility whenever you are and uh, going out outer lane. Yes, so it is. Uh, it that's why the visibility is so important. Like uh, from this side, if it is completely clear, then it is other people can see where you are entering and where you are. If you are going inside, so people will expect that you are going uh, like third exit or fourth exit, right? So and people also expect where you are going to change the lane. But if it is vision is not clear and the big one and the uh, wide roundabout, then this is a little bit you need to know that how to behave. Like I said, it is uh, you have to check the blind spot first and then indicate and then don't move immediately like a little bit just one second or two seconds and think and then move so that's how it is uh, so important to how you behave inside the roundabout and during before exiting or after the exit. so in the actual test will the examiner tell us uh, which uh, exit we should take far beforehand Yes, like they will tell you that uh, like uh, where you want to go, the first, third exit or fourth exit or something or uh, left side or some people they say like uh, we'll go left on. Narendra, they will inform the again, exit before we enter into the round. Yeah, but again it depends. I mean sometimes they may tell you that uh, follow E4 so yes, Sodra, yes, E4 yes. S. So they will not tell you anything. They will not tell you which exit. You yeah, have yeah, to check the sign and you have that's to decide. True. If you are following a sign, then uh, they will not tell you anything. Uh, yeah. But it is always, okay. always make sure that you don't make a mistake or don't make a, a, a wrong decision. Like if you have a mistake, it is okay. Then go. If you are not able to exiting in the, uh, suppose you are going to the uh, third exit, but you could not move or could not change the lane and you have a confusion and then you cannot decide. And then just go and make another round or exiting in another exit, but make sure that it is that your exit is safe. So that is the, if you do the mistake, then definitely you are going to fail. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, smartly, you change this one and then go to the another uh, exit and then um, if it is safe, then there is no point. Uh, and that is a good point actually. No, but if, if he is, if he is asking go to third exit and you, Make a turn at second exit. You are yeah, yeah, it doesn't right, matter. Right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It is it is enter the vehicle responsibility with you, not with the examiner. So you have to decide. That is the no, biggest no, but that's point. Fine. If he is telling, okay, uh, okay, take me to third exit, and and I'm I get confused and I I take him to second exit. So he will obviously that will definitely fail. go against you. But I mean, as as said i mean the safest thing in that situation is to take an, so suppose you couldn't decide or you made a you got confused you go full uh, 360 go all the way around and next time uh, tell the examiner that uh, i made a mistake or i wasn't uh, properly positioned and go around and next time make sure that you get the right exit yeah yeah uh, but i think uh, personally i mean i haven't uh, done the uh, sure pro yet but I think uh, it will uh, going around is much better than going off into a wrong direction. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So going around and coming back and take, uh, telling him that, okay, now I can take you to the third exit. Yeah, you will not get time. You don't get time there to <laughs> speak with the examiner. If you mm -hmm. try to speak, then you'll get more confused there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that is the, it is so quick, you know, that. Oh, you know, I have not given exam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. So I don't know how yeah. it works. Yes, I have one question. Andrew. Hmm? Yes, uh, suppose uh, one person starting from here, another person starting from here, and both are exiting the third exit. So what is uh, the behavior for the inner lane person? Yeah, in, in general terms, one can do it. It is legally not prohibited no, because yeah. that says uh, the, uh, the right uh, right hand lane 
person it's it should not go to the third exit from that side actually if if you do that on the driving test you will be failed <laughs> if you start from the right lane and then go to the third exit you will be failed definitely yeah that is the that is the you are confusing other uh, other vehicles other drivers so yeah because the it's safety is people are gonna like go in the third exit then they are they will be already in a like second lane already like while entering the round road i think so mm-hmm. how do we go who will go first in, uh, both of them want to they go they can go the simultaneously third. there is no problem no, but uh, one should go right lane uh, person should go to the second exit or first exit not to the third or yeah, but or, or, or take the second exit then how should they be at the inner lane Ah, uh, that is uh, also suppose that suppose, is also, suppose this is like that way, and he he need to enter like that way, this way, and this person also as per the roundabout load, he should take this way. So that that or, is wrong. That uh, I mean that is exactly that is the thing the which is not advisable. So you are not supposed to do that. So it is not advisable that. So like so have, so then inner person should be go like this way. No 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 the you should not stay on the inner side at all if you want to make the second exit if you want to make the second exit you should have changed the lanes before you enter the in- intersection so you should be on the right lane then you will fail okay. for planning here yeah that is the okay. many reason you can <laughs> be fail because this is the uh, like standard rules you know that or you can say on set rules uh, it is you can go obviously you can one can go that is because there there is a like it is not the solid line that you cannot enter anywhere and cannot uh, go but that what is saying that it uh, it will go against you so there is no point in going and uh, making confusion <laughs> to the examiner so and also generally that. i mean uh, spot the sign early so if you, if you have been given a goal so if you have been told to go to e4 sodra or uh, route 35 or whatever i mean so you first have to see which uh, exit it is so if it is the first exit if it is the second exit generally so if it is the first or the second exit you need to be in the outer uh, file and if you if it is going to be the third exit or if you are third or more you have to be on the inner but there are some exceptions there are a few exceptions where uh the, the circle design clearly indicates i mean there is a sign there is going to be a sign i think nandra might have covered this in later slides you may you sometimes you have a sign that explicitly says that only right side will go into a outer lane even to go to second exit you have to go to the inner lane those are different. yeah yeah that's true i should have covered this one i made this one but i could not put into this <laughs> yeah. presentation yeah that's that is a very important one we can um, i can share maybe some Yes. Okay. Uh, let's uh, move then. Uh, sorry. Just I had one question. Just on that slide, maybe just to sum up. If suppose um, I have to take the third exit, and there was there is a car who is coming from the first exit, like the similar lane from the first, and he wants to go to the second exit on his second exit. So, according to that, I have to change the lane uh, f- between second to third, and then exit from the right lane, and he is already on the right lane. because uh-huh. he wants to exit on the same exit now it is whose responsibility actually to manage like if he is in the outer lane i want to go to outer lane and now is it my responsibility that i should take consideration that i should give him enough time so that at least he can be passed in the same lane or it is, is actually the, it, is, it is actually both uh, both responsibility so it is the speed limit like how you uh, fast or how slow you are going so it is you cannot go very slow you know that then that yeah. is the problem for the others yes. and you cannot But, go very fast because the other vehicles are uh, in front of you yes. so yes. it is a kind of mutual adjustment and that's why you have to see this blind spot and then wh- while changing the lane it is your yes. responsibility to make it safely if you cannot exactly. change the lane then don't indicate and then go uh, make another round so yeah. because yeah. other But, one is coming if you know yeah, that definitely. other one is coming and if you see the blind spot and there is uh, another car is coming and you cannot do it safely because it is not his resp- it is his mistake mm-hmm. yeah. and and the overall responsibility always lies with the person who changes the lane yes. so if if it, it is ultimately okay. you yeah. who are going to change the lane he is not changing the lane he is sticking to his lane so you yeah. are changing so if you want to change into his path 
you are responsible so you have to ensure that it happens in a safe manner okay so primary yeah. it's my responsibility then his yeah. uh, whoever what, changes the lane yeah one more thing is that if is like second if the person is coming that already is un, already inside the circle that mean is supposed to not entered into the roundabout absolutely yeah yeah if it is there you, you when you you are coming from or uh, entering to the roundabout if it, uh, other cars are coming from the left side if you see that there is a car coming from the left side then immediately you have to slow down or stop okay let's continue uh, you can see this one uh, two example and then uh, you can find out that uh, is this a good exit or uh, because this is the example of um, Uh, video to show that uh, it is third exit and fourth exit, and if it is uh, done correctly or not, uh, we can uh, discuss. So, see, this is a, a roundabout coming, and this is the sixty speed road. And as it is planned for the third exit or fourth exit, I don't know. Inside lane. So here you have to see this truck; it's uh, slowing down or not. That is really important. Okay, then this one is this one is done. Uh, sorry, this one and no, this is uh, oh, this is another one. wow that that person really did a very unsafe <laughs> yeah uh, yeah and then again going back look that that's how crazy. it is the this uh, effect you also the in the driving test he came here then he wanted to go and it is the from through the i think solid line he entered to the right lane he already mm -hmm. has a license so he is okay <laughs> so this is the this is going to be the fourth exit or third let's see yeah this one is third and this is the fourth here he should yeah. start indicate it was it was not very clear where the lane change was made i mean um... yeah that's true actually that's true that this so is the he didn't uh, change the lane he directly <coughs> landed into left lane here ah, okay. yes, that's right mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. Road, this yeah. one was the question when uh, we were discussing before that this one. When you mm -hmm. go, like you change, you come inside, 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 mm -hmm. inner lane, inner lane, and suddenly you cut it uh, to the left mm -hmm. lane. Mm -hmm. And then uh, because this was not the very traffic time, so I think it is mm -hmm. okay. But during the heavy traffic or something is coming, and if you don't see the blind spot and don't make it safely, then then and there you are going to fail. So uh, before entering, when you are on the left lane. is it possible to exit in the sec is it possible to exit in the second second exit no that's what we discussed that's what yes it is no, possible but the, the, it is this possible video, this this video it is possible the, it is the possible marking, there is a he has already marking it it's possible yeah in the no, no. I mean, what, what was the question whether you can enter in the no when when you are when you are on the road with on your left hand side and do do you, can you exit on the second exit yeah there was a road marking saying yeah, that exactly. it, you can you can enter uh, you can exit you can take uh, left turn third exit or you can go straight also road yes, marking so only, saying only that. in those cases it is allowed uh... okay okay let's uh, discuss this one this is this was the uh, question in the our group uh, and this is the major of the confusion right uh, so if you go to the third exit whether it is going to the left lane or right lane and in this video it was a uh, one of the videos uh, shows that this this one the last one it shows like the uh, blue line uh, dark blue, blue line, line is very simple it looks nice <laughs> you don't have to change lane then yeah this is the you don't have to change the lane but it is more dangerous not safe mm. so uh, Uh, it is up to you that how you manage there in the driving test. But uh, if you 
if you what, ask what me what possibly can go wrong here in the blue line yeah yeah for example somebody is coming from this side in the uh, uh, in the and wanted to go here they have to give away right no 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 when you come here up to this place then here he will enter right okay. but 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 my my indicator should be on yeah but indicator you have your right indicator so he should wait right yes. until you exit but the most of the people they think that once you are inner lane means the people most of the people they go into the outer lane then they exit mm. they don't think that you are in directly exiting from inner lane to yeah that, that is that is the kind of norm or uh, you are because there is a, if you see this overall that there is a no not much complicated rules but you have to how you behave and, and then this is the important when how you behave in a, with the in front of the examiner so this is this is called uh, not safe but this is called uh, at least safer than this exit so why don't you go to the safer because exit and then going to the more dangerous one so you're supposed to take the right lane uh, once you exit so you're supposed to stay on the right hand lane and not on the left yeah so here it is the more correct answer is uh, going to the yellow line path of this one uh, situation i was going to give you that uh, like suppose i'm coming from uh, like from blue line and i'm just going to uh, exit the third exit and then there is guy who is coming from the second exit uh, second exit and he's going to take the same exit as mine so sometimes it happens like if i'm moving with the blue line and if i want to like if i want to move the like go to the third exit following the blue line and then uh, suddenly i change the right lane but at the same time there is one guy coming from the second exit and he wants to go in the same exit so what should i do then so should i go in the left lane or should i choose the right lane because he's going the same exit which i where i'm ideally, going ideally ideally he should not to get into the roundabout that's the thing you should see that you are already there yeah mm -hmm. i mean ideally he should not be in there but if he comes like suppose i am giving my test and he yeah, somebody because, uh, listen this one is the if you indicate the left uh, and then you are going inside the lane then uh, he or she might come there so yes because uh, he, he will definitely come because yeah. you are indicating left yeah even if i point. indicate the right side right indication but uh, sometimes people enter from the uh, from your right side and yeah, they just when, execute when you, when you as... indicate you indicate here right in this place mm -hmm. and in this place when you indicate uh, this place you have to check like blind spot indicate and then you have very little space to like uh, cross the line because you are uh, cutting the lanes here to go yeah i mean indicating here is very dangerous because i cannot uh, just indicate and like turn right yeah that's what and then i was telling that this is not the safest one to go so if you are so one i met 12 o'clock i can just start indicating right and then i just can go to the exit yeah just go from here and then change lane here and then exit from the right lane okay okay i think i will uh, probably you have seen this one uh, i can paste this uh, link there and then there is a mistake actually in the uh, in this uh, in this video and if you i just copy and paste and you can see then and if you find out that mistake or if you, if you if you have seen it already just ignore this where is the Yeah, here. Actually, Prasad uh, has pointed it out that that is mistake already, so he know that. Okay, are you already done? Yes. Yes. Did anyone find mistake? I think when for for uh, fourth exit. And what was the mistake? You uh, change the lane early. Okay. so is that uh, other people also agree with this one or
doesn't anybody else have anything else no yeah or anything else <laughs> yeah that is that is actually correct that uh, lane changing uh, thing but lane changes actually what's uh, what's okay but the during the editing you know that the place where i put this arrow mark and that was late that was lane changing was not late but that uh, arrow when uh, it was the, like synchronization of the voice and then arrow that was actually not correct but if you see the only in the mute uh, or no without sound then you can see that lane changing was in the perfect place or anything else is there or yeah we are quite uh, what's the end of the let's see like how many. yeah this one is the i can show you that uh, this is the simplest one because there is a first exit second exit and then all the side visibility is clear only in this when you the you have the near the cities then this is the uh, the main safety risk is the pedestrian crossing so you have to be really really careful here sometime it is the traffic uh, signal and sometime it is not traffic signal if the traffic signal is there also it is uh, many times you can uh, just uh, exit and then go without uh, see, looking the red light so you have to be really really careful when there is small but visible every side but then it is the uh, risk thing it's uh, for the pedestrian and the traffic light here also you have a if there is a pedestrian line i think yeah if, it is here is the pedestrian line but this yeah, is yeah, the there is a pedestrian where do you position your car when you are already in the roundabout and if when there is a, uh, a pedestrian line you must have a, there is a stop stop line so you have to you don't have to care about the what is happening behind or the slowing down but you have to stop there before that stop line okay so that's why the speed also will be very low in this uh, uh, circle i mean yes circular. yes yes yeah. okay so if we because I, this type of particular roundabout we, we have that in sundibari as well and that's that's there is a signal as well as pedestrian crossing mm -hmm. in the same small roundabout so if mm -hmm. suppose there is already a car waiting for that signal in the roundabout and i am on the first exit mm -hmm. and i want to go in the same exit should i actually enter it or enter the roundabout or should i st still stop or give away if you have already entered depending on the space how much space it is there if already you enter then you just stop so there is no way to go or uh, anywhere right and even if, if not there might be many cars still behind me they they might be a little jam there but yeah i have to if i am there then i have to stop anyway yeah if it is the, depending on the how much space it is there in the in the roundabout and then also uh, how far this a uh, pedestrian line is there mm -hmm. so you have to go slowly and then uh, make your placement like if it is you are going behind this car and then uh, there is a stop and then front car is stopping so you don't have any choice that just stop yeah, okay but it is good if if I, i see that there is a car already there then i don't even enter the roundabout if it is, is right side it is it is it is your car is gone you don't have to care about the right side you have to see the left side if something is coming then you have to stop no no if suppose suppose the same car in the photograph which is which has crossed the pedestrian line if suppose that was stopping before the pedestrian line uh -huh. and the another car where um, the car is there it was actually behind the round behind the like giveaway line then should should that car enter if he wants to go into the same exit yeah that's what i'm saying you don't have to care about this car right yeah. side just forget what is happening left side you have to take care of the if uh, there is a car coming from the left side then you have to give away to the this one but right side if it is gone and then you can see that there is no space then don't enter okay yeah but i don't think there is a, there is no space with for the two cars <laughs> if it is around about unless it is really really small yeah but but also just watch out uh, the, the reverse can happen uh, just watch out 
just watch out that you should never uh, end up being stationary on top of the uh, pedestrian crossing yeah, uh, yeah whatever yeah. happens you should not block that yeah definitely that is, in, that is in general any city driving that you cannot go and stop in the pedestrian uh, uh, walking place so even if whatever is there whatever this region that you cannot uh, like it try to avoid that space before uh, i think it is the 10 meter distance one should wait in normal city driving here you cannot get that much uh, space but okay so- uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, yeah. Arendh. Actually, that uh, you know, pedestrian crossing marking is yellow color. Is it like a special one? Like- <laughs> no, no. This is not from the Sweden. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is this is not from the Sweden uh, Swedish video. That this is a, another European uh, video, but this is not from Sweden. Yeah, that is the uh, different uh, colors of the marking. Uh, I have a question from the video YouTube video that you showed. Mm-hmm. Uh, where there is a traffic signal after the roundabout. Yeah. So there were two signs, uh, speed signs. One was 40 and one was 30. Mm-hmm. The 30 sign, it was there because uh, 40 sign was it, it is standard. It was uh, for the traffic, always yeah. there. 30 sign is because of the construction or for the temporary sign. Yeah, there was some so, road. Yeah, road construction. Yeah. So you have to uh, follow the th- 30 sign. Okay, so whichever is uh, below that one should be followed. If yeah, they... it, if it is the some something is the the uh, you can see that then which one is temporary, it's like and which one is uh, not one. You can go above thirty, but it is not like recommended. Yeah, yeah you cannot go above thirty in that place. Yeah, sometimes it happens also on motorways, like when you are driving at seventy or eighty, but there are some construction, and then you have to be moving like. Um, yeah, 30 if, or if, if there is a 30 sign maximum 30 uh, max 30 kilometer per limit that means below the 30 you cannot go uh, uh, go more than that and that will if you go then that will uh, work against you so don't do this maximum means maximum so it is always go slow because that is the, that is why they put this uh, uh, this uh, road working signs or uh, construction sign there yeah I okay, think then they become to... the priority mm-hmm. right that that is the priority and you also have to respect the road uh, workers and then all the construction people but you cannot uh, cannot move that is one of the most uh, because that's why the safety rules is uh, coming right that's and that is the main reason to put this traffic uh, or the speed limits why there are so many speed limits in the city if people understood everything right there is no need to put the any speed limit so uh, maximum 40, 30, 40, 30, you can, it is alternate places. And then this is the examiner, they will see this when you changing this 40 to 30 or 30 to 40. So don't cross, at least uh, never ever cross this uh, maximum uh, limit. It is always better to go under. Yeah, this is the last slide, I think that yeah, this is nothing, but, uh, but what someone said to me that 60% of the driving could be learned outside of the car. So you don't need anything uh, like you can learn from videos and then get your concept clear from the text or many places. So, and that's what it is. The, that's how you can uh, make your expenses less and less stress. Because this is, you know, that this is quite many of us, we are going through the uh, stress or uh, having stress because of uh, expense, one of the region, and then another one is not getting time and not getting uh, like, uh, even if you want to spend, there is no place available for the traffic school. Okay, thank you very much. And if you have any question, then we can uh, discuss. And thank you for coming and then explaining everything, like have a nice discussion. And if you have not subscribed, just subscribe to this channel so that it is many things are coming actually that uh, so that you don't miss. Yeah, just one thing that I would like to add is that uh, uh, when whenever you have uh, more than one file in inside a roundabout, uh, you have to be very careful. Many times the paint uh, of the lines would have kind of got washed away, would have kind of faded away. Uh, yeah. But you still have to know where the, the lane lies. So particularly, 
it it is easier if you are on the inner file because you can stay close to the inner uh, wall of the roundabout but uh, if you are on the outer file you should be very careful that you go all the way uh, towards the exit uh, or or uh, as far into the uh, file uh, if there is a refuge you can kind of go near the uh, to the refuge uh, so it it has to be like a very good curve so if you try to straighten that thing early uh, you actually end up coming into the uh, eating into the inner uh, lane and that is very dangerous yeah and also uh, it is true it's also important in the snowing time or the dark time this is snow is covering and then you have to adjust like you have to like just assume that this is there will be line or then it is more on the different street signal that is also probably we cannot see the visibility if it is continuously snowing so is it good that we take it as doing snowing <laughs> to parts <laughs> it is good to take a test any time and pass <laughs> all the signals and everything will get covered in snow yeah this is it is i agree actually that when you you take in the dark time or the that is much more complex because of the you are you are having a chance of missing pedestrian at that time Uh, when you have the like for example november or october november during the dark and also that many people they don't wear this um, uh, reflector band and then that is uh, not their mistake but they, actually their mistake uh, but it is coming to you that <laughs> if you don't stop before and if it is raining and then uh, dark and this this is it is not easy for a new driver to see all this and also the other cars lights reflections so definitely it is much more easier uh, nowadays to take the test okay it was very yeah. nice uh, yeah thank you i have one question not related to this but do any even know where i can get risk 2 in english or is it available in english anyway yes in gilinge gilinge tabi yes okay they provide in english yes yes and yeah. i can directly book it i don't need to go through any driving school yeah no, but you can directly cannot, you can yeah thank you for that okay uh, thank you very much uh, and then see you in another session probably thanks nar thank you thanks for a very good much. session thank, thank you very so much. much thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.